it's Pavlina and I am here with Sarah G Attack NYC. There we go. That works. We're, we're just starting this. Okay, it's going to be good. We're here in Astoria, Queens, and we're at Off the Hook. We're at Off the Hook. Yeah. Oh my god, they're at 2808 34th Street in Astoria now. Pavlina, they've yeah. got the best fish dishes. Yes, they do. Their dishes roar and soar and they make your tummy crave more and more at Off the Hook. And we're going to show everybody. Yes, and we're going to be trying some really good food. It's going to be amazing. Um, let's do you want to go check it out? Yeah, let's go check it out. It's Pavlina, and I am here with Glenn and Bess. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Yay, that's great. Perfect. That's amazing. Now, you guys, like Sarah said, you guys have some amazing and very unique food here. Okay, so, Glenn, you're the chef. Can you tell me about, like, how you come up with some of this crazy stuff? Well, I mean, it's always, uh, you get the inspirations. Uh, most of my inspirations come from my travels. Uh, whenever I travel, I pick up uh, good experiences, good food. And uh, usually it's popular food in other places, so then I really enjoy that kind of thing, and I bring it back, and I do my own recipes with it, so I'll do my own take on them. And that's how I come up with my dishes. There's uh, shimafongo, it's a traditional Caribbean dish, uh, Puerto Rican, uh, Dominican. And uh, pretty much what we do with it, we do a twist on it. Uh, we stuff it with some uh, baby shrimps and uh, as well dates to add a little bit of the Middle Eastern. Uh, the spices are Middle Eastern too, so that's going to be a very different mafongo pretty much. Um, then uh, we have uh, Meyer spiced chicken. Uh, first, uh, we're doing like a rum infused drink uh, here, like we have a lot of rums in our selection. Uh, that, that thing we tried to, to figure out how to infuse the rums in our food as well. Uh, so we're doing uh, pretty much right now, we marinate it first in Myers rum, which is a Jamaican rum. <laughs> Goes well with Jamaican <laughs> spiced chicken. So. And then we do a jerk seasoning here, everything is done here. We serve it with a ginger carrot puree and uh, some uh, French beans uh, sautéed in. Uh, so different techniques, uh, but we infuse like the dishes, uh, get something more consistent. And then Louisiana. We fell in love, me and Bess actually traveled together and we really loved the, the food there, so we took something with us and that's why we, we came with, we had to bring Mardi Gras in that dish. Yeah. So well, that's how we came up with that. No, but most of the dishes are like that pretty much, lobster roll, main visits, uh, things like that. We pick up those uh, memories and then we do something with it. I know. Do you have any travels that you ex like want to go to soon? Like, oh, I really want to go to this country. I'm recently from Jamaica <laughs> and there's my spice chicken. <laughs> Maybe Bolivia soon, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> awesome. I, my dad's from Lebanon. You should try to like incorporate some kind of weird Lebanese we thing. Our specials. Our food is always changing. Our specials, they all, always, we try to use as many techniques as we are comfortable with. With, of course, but and coming up with something uh, different and new for our palates too. That's so cool! Like it's so cool. That you guys have so many like different cultures going on here. So now, Bess, tell me about the restaurant and like its comfort and like its fun and free. Uh, yeah. So uh, basically, we had the idea. We wanted to come up with something that was all about the comfort, something yeah. where we we felt uh, right at home, and also our friends would be f and uh, and uh, neighbors would be feeling right at home. And uh, that's what we brought over here. Our our, our own comfort, our own take on uh, fun and we wanted to bring a lot of these uh, uh, newities in, uh, in uh, the market here in Astoria. So that's why we have uh, all of these uh, crazy fun dishes and then you have the swings and then you have uh, the whole layout in the restaurant. So uh, it's all about uh, comfort and fun and uh, uh, you know enjoying the experience. Yeah. It's all about that. Yes, and you were actually just telling me about some live music that you guys have come here. Can you tell me about those? Well, yeah, we do uh, uh, time and again. We do. We have uh, twice a year we do the Oyster Fest, which is uh, uh, it's crazy amount of oysters for everyone and we bring in this uh, uh, usually we bring in a Caribbean band uh, it's a lot of fun as everybody gets to join the band with like a little percussion you don't need to be super talented or anything like that but uh, yeah we we do bring a lot of fun in here and uh, you know uh, uh, besides that we do we'll do uh, also like a lot of uh, events uh, uh, from time to time we get uh, we get a lot it's, it's quite it's quite an experience so Richard you are here from Astoria with your friends dining at off the hook so what do you like at Off the Hook? I really love the uh, the raw oyster bar and the uh, uh, the lobster roll sandwich is excellent. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. We are talking not fashion but the passion of the food. And um, tell me, Bess, what inspired you 
and Glenn to open up here in Astoria, Queens. It was uh, the lack of uh, uh, proper row bar and something that was really fun and that brought the experience that we shared, that we wanted to share with friends. And uh, this is what we came up with, with a lot of uh, passion from Glenn's uh, uh, imagination. <laughs> I love it. And we're talking American, Jamaican, Caribbean. Tell us about the dishes. So here you have like a uh, basically just the fresh raw uh, seafood comes fresh from the ocean and then you go on with the uh, shrimp mofongo. This is one of the signature dishes. This dish, how, you must sell like how many a week? Uh, this is probably we're looking at like uh, a few hundred. Three, four hundred. This dish over here? This over is there? the Hook's uh, Baked Oysters. It's awesome. uh, baked oysters. They're baked in uh, spice rum with uh, Gruyere cheese. It's like a fondue. It's a lot of fun uh, having these I dishes. I know. There. I've had these signature and the flavors are just popping. Oh my God. Tell us about the jerk, the Caribbean dish. That is the, the Myers' Spice Chicken. Myers' Spice Chicken is marinated in Myers' uh, dark rum and uh, goes uh, uh, rubbed with uh, jerk seasoning. And it's delicious, that no other chicken that you've ever tried. Now this is, we're going to get to that one soon, <laughs> we're going to take, but what is that, this? That's the flying lobster roll. And everybody's loving lobster roll. Everybody loves lo lobster now, roll. Now, nobody in New York is going to be, uh, does this, take a bite out that of this. That is the most fun. That is the newest dish yet that we've come up with. Uh, that's all Glenn's doing. It's uh, alligator meatballs. Alligator meat. And where do you <laughs> buy this alligator meat? That comes straight from Louisiana. <laughs> oh my God, this is going to be off the charts in NYC. Okay, so, so this is the alligator. The, the yep. alligator meat bowls, yeah. Yes. Alligator meat. Now, uh, now probably nobody in NYC is doing alligator meat. So here we go. Like a, I had just a bad dream of the alligator eating them. Like an <laughs> wow. Alligator mm, I love it. It's flavorful. It's mm -hmm. a meatball. I don't even realize I'm eating alligator meat. I know. You know what? It's you know juicy. It. It's flavorful. Mm, it's delicious. Do you guys deliver to Manhattan? Because <laughs> right, I'll take this. We Thank would you. If you didn't get that cold. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, this is un yes. this is juicy, and I, I feel the texture. Mm -hmm. I feel the Italian crumbs. You got to give us a little secret here what the secret recipe is. But um, for alligator meat, nobody in New York is doing. This. So I'm really excited about this. This is a really Have hot you ever dish. Had meat? Is this no. your first time? It's your first time. What about you? You're from Florida. I know. Well, okay. Actually, this is so <laughs> weird. No, no, no. Listen. Okay. In Florida, they like sell alligator jerky on the side of the road. I, it looks sketchy, so I didn't buy it. But like, <laughs> they were. They really make it good. Tiny, great. More and more. What do you think? <laughs> and off the hook. It's you really good. Best fish dishes. So okay, we're gonna start now. Can we get this to go? Okay, thanks. Tell us about this dish, <laughs> Basil right. and Glenn. So, Ooh. shrimp mofongo. Yeah. Um, so, it's, uh, the idea comes from its mashed pl plantains. And as Glenn uh, explained you guys, it goes with uh, some baby shrimps, with some uh, uh, Middle Eastern spices and uh, dates to give it a, a sweet twist to it. And then you have the actual jumbo pan seared shrimps, and they go with the saffron aioli sauce. It's an amazing dish. You'll try it. I'll let you... Now, this Yay. is one of their signature dishes. Here's okay. the shrimp. Ooh. And this is um, the plantain, but don't you get, get like the, the sauce. The it's sauce juicy. You can, it's, it's like popping. The savory flavors are popping in your mouth. Mm. Wow. Taste the shrimp, though. I know it's going to get shrimp? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is now, remember, one of their signature dishes. I think they sell around 400 of these, four to 600 a week. Now you can see why. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is really good. Now moving on along, we should move on to, tell Hooks. us about this dish. This is a Hooks baked oysters. Mm. Uh, this is a very original dish. Good the bread, dipping yeah. is the most important part. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Look at them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like mixing it. Yeah, wow. I like eating with hands. <laughs> uh, oh my God. I taste the rum. Oh my God, and the cheese. This is an awesome dish. And now dish. you still have the oyster in there. So you always get like a little aroma on the, yeah. layer, the, the on the palate and then uh, the sweetness mm. of the gruyere cheese. That's amazing. Myers' spice chicken. So well, how long have we marinated the chicken in? Uh, it uh, marinates in the rum for about one hour. One so hour? It, gets, uh, it absorbs the rum and the flavors from the rum. Mmm. Wow. So within uh, inside the meat yeah. you'll find a little bit taste of the uh, aromatic of the rum. And then, Juicy. Uh, yeah. Savory. You'll taste Herbs. a little bit of Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and of course there's mm. uh, then the jerk seasoning homemade. There's everything we make here. To, uh, I fresh. love that it's all from fresh. It's all fresh the seasoning. It's all wow, well, made to order. The chicken we use is uh, natural chicken, half mm. chicken basically. It's, uh, I love the spices. Chicken, yeah. so it's not, uh, that's why it's smaller but it's more flavorful. It's not packed with spices. I see it's just perfect. 
that marriage between the you know and the you, herbs you and, and the spices. You get a little spice mm. on your palate, you can always uh, clear it with uh, ginger carrot puree. It's sweet. Oh wow! It makes you Homemade, your organic. Going with it. It's not too sweet. It's no. perfect. I taste the carrots. <laughs> it's absolutely perfection. Now you're balanced. I am so balanced. <laughs> Still loves to roll. All oh, right. Highly recommended by all of our customers. Now we can't go anywhere. Robert's favorite back there. Wasn't this his favorite? Yeah, Robert loves the. Yes. I'm gonna let you try. You first. Try this? Yeah, oh, try the lobster roll. We're gonna split it. Split it? Yeah. Yeah, let's cut it in half. I'll split it for you. Okay, All right. you. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, you're gonna taste Look, the it's sauce. Like overflowing yeah. with overflowing with lobster I know. meat. Yeah. yeah. Now where's the lobster meat from? Maine. The yeah. best. <laughs> Prince Edward Island? Yes. There we go, Prince Edward Island. So there we gotta go. We're gonna go to the show here at Off the Hook. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't that... Where do you think the lobsters come from, Maine? The meat oh comes from gosh. our laboratory. We, make the, we get the meat here. We wow. Really it ourselves and the out. sauce, so that's, uh, this, it's, it's so fresh. It's like it's straight from the ocean. It's not like frozen. It's straight delivered here from the ocean. And the sauce is awesome. Awesome. <laughs> And you know what the dish is here? <laughs> Tell us about the prices. Oh my gosh! Well, the prices are uh, we wanted to keep them again at comfort level. Um, we start. Let us go with uh, hooks baked oysters. You're, you're looking at thirteen dollars. Um, then you have the alligator meatballs. Uh, again, it's an appetizer, and we don't go beyond thirteen dollars. And then uh, we start with the entrees: the Myers' spiced chicken, seventeen dollars; lobster, uh, lobster roll, seventeen dollars. And then you have uh, the shrimp of fungo at eighteen dollars. It's uh, I don't know if it fits, gets any. It's a steal deal at off the hook. <laughs> Because you've got the best dishes can't and the best that. fish dishes. You can't beat that. This is a little bit of a sampler of, from our uh, raw bar. Uh, usually we'll get like a, a, a number of uh, uh, different kinds of oysters from uh, all over uh, the place. And uh, we get a little bit of uh, seafood. And uh, so we decided to come up with a sampler of our raw bar. So you get uh, uh, some oysters, you get some little neck lambs, uh, shrimps, and uh, some mussels. Um, awesome. You want to try this? Yeah, absolutely. Here, Let me go with the mussels and the sauce. Which sauce uh, well, do you recommend? We, uh, I would go for the vinegar sauce with uh, okay. shallots and uh, some Asian pear. Oh wow! What is what, what? What do we have inside of this, Glenn? It's uh, red wine vinegar, shallots, red wine, uh, and uh, Asian pear. It's amazing. Pepper, and then there's some amazing. Awesome. Do you want to try these? Sure. Yes. Tell us about the oysters. <laughs> Get some. Let's uh, some lemon oyster. and maybe a little bit of the cocktail sauce. Wow, you got to help me eat this, guys. <laughs> I'm like, how do I get my mouth in there? Mm. Oh wow! It's, uh... Wow, I love the, I love it. I taste the freshness and uh, the sauces. It's all about the ocean. And which sauce should we go with? Uh, cocktail sauce. Cocktail. Okay. okay. Shrimp. Cocktail. shrimp. <laughs> wow, this is a great starter. Oh my God, the shrimp. It's off the charts. Mm -hmm. Hear it off the hook. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure having you here. A lot of fun, as always.